Hi, my name is Brian Dowduribe, and I'm a visiting scientist um, with Make It, and I'm hosted by Innovation. I'm an associate professor at the University of San Francisco. I've always been interested in whether and how technologies can serve and accompany poor and marginalized farmers in Africa. And so I'm excited to be here in Montpellier to think more about the ways in which we evaluate new crop technologies, and specifically I'm thinking here about agricultural biotechnologies. What explains the, the wealth of potential and enthusiasm behind these agricultural biotechnologies when they haven't performed, they haven't met the goals that they've said that they were going to achieve? And my answer to that is that the ways in which we produce knowledge about them gives a, a legitimate voice the book project that I'm going to work on here at Makit is to unravel that knowledge production process, how it overestimates the potential of these crops. And I can put this underneath the umbrella of skewed science. It's a knowledge production process that uses the tools of science, but uses only particular tools to give a very nice view of these technologies in the hands of farmers. And there are three P's. The first is promise. And this is where knowledge production tools are used to project likely benefits in the hands of farmers. The second is what I call perception. And this is where particular scientific tools are used to evaluate the crops after they've been adopted by farmers. And the last is promotion. How the data from the promise and from the perception are used then to promote these technologies either via uh, peer-reviewed literature or uh, through media outlets. And the goal of this book project is, is simple. I think we need to have a more honest and balanced assessment of these crops, not just the crops that are currently in use, but of those to come as well. And with that more honest and balanced assessment, I think we'll, we'll be more clear-eyed about their potentials. We'll be better placed to understand how to improve their performance, and or we'll be better placed to understand whether those are paths that should be pursued or whether there are other better paths to achieve the same goals. I remember the first day or the day that I saw the, uh, the announcement for the visiting scientist call here at Make It and I was just so excited. Montpellier has always been for me a place where world-class scientific research is done, particularly on the topics that I'm most interested in. And so I knew that this was the perfect place for me to learn from different researchers, to, to harvest a lot of the, the knowledge in the greater Montpellier ecosystem here that could really inform my work. It's also a place where I could really build relationships and build future collaborations. Over the next 10 months, I look forward to the seminars, the, the informal interactions with uh, scientists and researchers here, but also the networking through the CG system, through CIRAD, through other um, institutions here in French universities. So something surprising about me is that although I come from North America, I'm a very big soccer fan. And now with my two kids, nine and six, and can't wait to go see the local team here play against some of the best French teams, kind of experience European uh, soccer culture here while we're here.